Um, hi there, I'm Leo Haberman and I'm a uh, PhD researcher at the Open University in the UK. And I'm also a uh, work in higher education at a university in London. So the uh, kind of quick overview of the what my PhD is about is I'm trying to understand what higher education institutions think about open education and whether they um, provide any kind of support or encouragement, especially in the form of uh, documented policy for open educational practices. And if they do provide it, then which practices in particular do they do they support or encourage? And uh, and also um, I've become also quite interested in whether this has changed during the course of the pandemic as well. So uh, so in my, um, my in my research, I decided that I um, I wanted to look at um, at data kind of from three um, kind of three main sources. So on the one hand, there was uh, the, the kind of data that you can find from um, higher education institutions from uh, documents that they might have have published or uh, you know web pages that they've that they've got on their website explaining um, what's going on there and what, um, what what practices they've got going on maybe um, detailing um, policies or, um, or um, strategies that they that they have and um, so that so that's kind of one one um, part of it was looking really at um, at kind of uh, resources that anybody could could potentially find, but which w it nonetheless is um, is usually quite hard to find. Um, and then the next part, which is the part that I've been working on most recently, was um, surveying staff members who work in higher education institutions. Uh, and this was really um, what I what I refer to as the kind of stakeholder survey. So really, I was trying to find out the views of uh, of people who who work for higher education institutions, whether they're um, uh, teachers, researchers, or, um, or or staff that um, work to enable education or uh, support those kind of activities, support students, um, to find out what they think about their institution's policy or their institution's support for open educational practices. And um, and so there, I was looking for really. Um, it, it was more of a case of people's opinion rather than um, rather than trying to find a kind of an expert voice that would necessarily um, speak on behalf of the institution. It was more to find out what people from the perspective of working within the institution um, feel is is happening in their organization. And then the last um, sort of uh, source of data will be from interviews um, and the interviews will be conducted with people who have been involved with um, making policy in their institution, making policies that uh, that have a have a relationship with open education, even if they're not necessarily um, a, a specifically just an open education or OE policy. So, um, so the stage that I um, the stage that I'm up to now is. Uh, is that I've um, I've collected some data from the surveys and now I'm going to be analysing that and uh, meanwhile thinking about um, who I'm going to approach to be interviewed. 